Mm. Yeah. Hey guys, so this isn't new. This is just one of my favorite whiskeys. It's Jameson Caskmates Stout Edition. I've talked about it before, but you know what? I feel like now is the time that we just need to cling to some comfort. It just has the most delicious finish. It's sweet, but not too sweet. It's so satisfying. So today I thought I would do a get ready with me. It is inspired by a video that Michelle Wong just put out. I was watching her recent Will I Buy It video. She is giving you quite possibly one of my most favorite makeup looks I've ever seen. She's giving you this gorgeous natural skin situation, coral cheeks, and a bright coral lip. I'm going to throw a really simple clean cat eye into the situation because, well, because I want to. Oh, I know what I'm gonna use. I'm gonna start off using this primer that I haven't tried yet. Actually, Michelle sent it to me because I think she had like some extras. It is the Laura Mercier Pure Canvas Primer. It's the illuminating one. So we're going for like, you know, a dewy glass skin situation. This is definitely a very springy look, which I'm really excited about because, well, we need something to look forward to, don't we? Now I'm gonna go in with the Bite Changemaker Supercharged Micellar Foundation. This is one of my current favorite foundations. I'm really loving it and I'm applying it with my BK Beauty sponge which is absolutely my favorite beauty sponge I've ever found point blank. What are you guys doing to keep yourself busy? What are you watching? We just watched The Hunger Games last night. Now I know what you're thinking. Kate, are you trying to give yourself nightmares? Yes, I am actually. And I'm doing a damn fine job of it. I had actually seen the first Hunger Games years ago, but I didn't really remember a lot about it. So it was really great to revisit and I do love it. I mean, it's really depressing and really terrifying and feels a little bit relevant. We're going to keep pushing through The Hunger Games because I've got to know what happens to Cat can we just talk about Jennifer Lawrence's face? I literally want to just rip it off, throw it on the ground, and do a dance on it. It's so damn beautiful. I mean, she's literally like in this dystopian nightmare, and her lips are just plump and just like perfectly glossed in this sort of like sexy nude. Like, here I go again. I watch a movie, and then all I end up focusing on and all I end up talking about is the makeup and the fashion. I sound like a vapid asshole. So now I'm going in with my Glossier Stretch Concealer, which is my favorite go to concealer if I just want a fresh, awake, wide-eyed look. It is a very hydrating concealer, I will tell you that. So, oh shit. So when you use this, I will tell you, you have to set the hell out of it with powder or else you might have a little bit of a raccoon eye situation. Also just going to blend that into our lid. We're doing a super clean, like no eyeshadow lid because we want the cat eye to be at the star. Was anyone else just pleasantly surprised by Lenny Kravitz's acting performance in The Hunger Games? Because I was. I was like full on getting ready to judge very harshly. And then I was like, oh, it's actually really good. Also, that gold eyeliner is nailing it to the ground. Now I'm going to go in with my Glossier Cloud Paint. Wow, this tube is almost done for. This is Beam. Oh, this isn't the only blush we're applying. This is just the base. Also, can we just take a moment to recognize how Stanley Tucci nails it in literally every single role he ever does? One of the first things I ever saw Stanley Tucci in was a movie called The Big Night. Have you seen it? If you're sitting at home wondering what to watch, you're going to watch The Big Night tonight. It is a delight. It has Tony Shalhoub in it. Is it Shalhoub? Is it Shalhoub? I never know. Anyway, he's fantastic. It is Mini Driver, Isabella Rossellini. It's like the perfect enjoyable movie. It's dramatic. It's funny. It's food porn. What more do you want? It's what you're watching tonight. So now I'm going to go in with the translucent setting powder. I'm going to use my ColourPop No Filter setting powder. I'm going to take this perfectly sized little brush. This is my BK Beauty 108. It is the perfect under eye setting brush. Also gonna set my lid. Now I'm going in with my favorite bronzer brush. This is my Refer P22 brush. I use it every damn day. And I'm using my Hula bronzer. Give our face some dimension. Who else do I love in The Hunger Games? I'm trying to think. I mean, I love Elizabeth Banks, but I wanna punch her character in the face. So now I'm going to go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in the shade Dark Brown. 
Oh, I know Woody Harrelson. Oh my God, I love that man. Again, another person who I feel like no matter what he's in, even if it's not that good, he's just rock solid. You know what I mean? Okay, so now I'm going to take my ColourPop Brow Boss Gel in clear and I'm going to make my brows look nice and bushy. We already set our lid with a translucent powder, but I like to go in with a shade that is the shade of my lid just to make it look really, really clean and even. This shade is Glow from my Alter Ego Daydream palette. Now we're gonna jump into the cat eye, and I assure you, this is the easiest cat eye you have ever seen. And it's all because of this brush. This is the BK Beauty 208 brush, and I just wanna tell you guys that you can buy these brushes in a set, but you can also buy them individually. I love a baby cat eye. The reason I personally love it is because I have small to medium sized eyes, and that cat eye just extends the line and makes it look like my eyes are bigger than they actually are. So to make this even easier, I'm gonna go in with just a really easy peasy self-sharpening eyeliner. This is my MAC Modern Twist Kajal Liner in Cat's Meow. Just going to really, really, really lightly line the eye. I mean, like barely touching the lash line. Nothing too like precise or crazy. So now we're gonna take our teeny tiny little BK Beauty 208. You can see that this brush is angled, right? So that is what is going to make this super easy. And I'm gonna go in with a cream gel eyeliner. This is from ColourPop. It is a matte black, it's called Swerve. And you want to just lightly dab it into your gel eyeliner. Then I like to just dab off any excess on the inside of the cap here. I'm gonna go in and try to make the smallest cat eye you can muster. I'm gonna fill that in just a little bit. And when I say a little bit, I mean the smallest amount you can because you don't want it to get crazy. You know what I mean? We don't need to go Amy Winehouse on this situation. Done and done. That's all we're doing. When I say baby cat eye, I'm talking about like infant. I'm talking about preemie. If you feel like your cat eye isn't perfect, just don't worry about it because we're going to go in with a shitload of mascara and make up for any imperfections. What the hell is going on? Mind me, I'll just be over here drinking, just taking about four hours to film. So I'm going in with my fave, which is my Benefit Roller Lash. Really make sure you like get every bit of every lash. You know what I mean? Like get those little corner lashes. Those are gonna help your cat eye too. I had a few essentials I had to get today. So I ran a couple errands in Harlem and I'm here to tell you, it's just like a normal day here in Harlem. People are literally having dance parties on the street. People are hugging each other, shaking each other's hands, just having a grand old time painting the town red on a Saturday. And I'm over here just wide-eyed and horrified watching those germs spread everywhere. Stop it. Stop touching each other. Also, why is it that the people that are wearing gloves are the most spatially unaware people out there? It doesn't matter if you have gloves on if you're like staring at your phone like a zombie walking straight into me. We are going to go in with a little bit more blush. We're trying to recreate those high cheekbones that Michelle Wong has with this blush, which is my current favorite. As you well know, it is my NARS Orgasm X. So this is a lip color we are going to use today. I actually picked this up at the store. I promise you it was not opened. I made sure. It looked like the closest thing to what Michelle was wearing in her video. I mean, hers is a lot fancier than this, I assure you. Okay, so this is the L'Oreal Rouge Signature Matte Lip Stain in the shade I Radiate. I'm loving the shape of this applicator for my Cupid's bow. Then I'm going to use my finger to just soften that. Wow, guys, I am so impressed with this formula. I was actually a little bit skeptical because, you know, you just never know with drugstore products, but 
I, I feel like I'm not even wearing anything on my lips. This actually reminds me a lot of a MAC lip product I have. It's their Versicolor Stain. The feel is almost exactly the same and I love these. So it makes sense that I'm into this. I mean, it's matte, but my lips don't feel dry. And if my lips do feel dry, I can, you know, throw on my Laneige lip mask or a gloss over this and this is gonna stay. Now, of course we have to do a little bit of highlight. I'm gonna use my Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless filter. This is the shade Fair One. Damn, I love this product. It just never gets old. I try to like get away from it and use other things and I always come back to it and I'm like, nope, you know what? This is one of the best. It's one of the best. I'm gonna be extra and just also put some of this on my collarbone because that's just how I'm feeling today. Yes. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed it. Oh, I forgot to cheers a product. I think it's gonna have to be the lipstick because I feel very excited that I randomly chose something at the drugstore and it worked out so well. So L'Oreal Rouge Signature Matte Lip Stain, good job. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. If you are digging on my content, please do subscribe, share and like, and click that little bell right beneath the video. That is going to alert you anytime I drop a new video. Mm.